Hi, I'm Kyle Chandler, and I want to invite you to this unique video log series produced by the Nimbus Ensemble here in Los Angeles. The ensemble and its musical director, Young Riddle, have a special affinity for contemporary music and have commissioned a new work from the gifted Romanian composer Liviu Marinescu. Since much of the composer's creative process is internal, many of us might not be able to imagine exactly what goes on in his mind. What challenges does he see? What are the various implications of the solutions he's considering? How does he balance calculation and intuition? This series brings us into that world, the world of the composer. We'll see his piece take shape over time as each new episode puts us further inside the unfolding composition itself. So join us on this intriguing journey into the heart of musical creation and for the premiere performance of the finished work later this spring under the baton of Maestro Riddle. Please enjoy. This is an opportunity for me to, sh to, to discover, first of all, how I think and, and share that with you. And, um, and, and by sharing it, I learn more about it and certainly you learn more about this process. Not only this would uh, help me stay focused on how the piece should go, but it would help the others relate my music to something they feel before understanding, because there is a certain natural feel that comes with the overtone series, the, 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 the harmony of sounds, right, that we all relate to, whether we come from Europe or some other cultures. And, and looking at that and taking that as a starting point might allow us to better communicate with, with the outside or the other world of those, you know, listening to the piece. So it, it is... Um, basically about the piece, but it, it is about the audience too. I'm, I'm trying to make a connection there. Several things come to mind. Mm -hmm. I wonder which of those mm -hmm. of those sort of tributaries that, yes, that you yes. take. I mean, one is the a rather static, uh, resonant mm -hmm. aspect mm -hmm. to it. Um, and uh, almost atmospheric mm -hmm. in a certain mm -hmm. way. Uh, and so, I, you know, which leads to all sorts of other thoughts. Yes. You, you've talked about about yes. non-developmental yeah. music yes. and, and yeah. other things. So I don't know. I'm interested in to what extent that aspect of um, it is. I'm 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 thinking of a piece in motion, of a piece that keeps changing, that goes through different stages of transformation. And when when I say transformation, I can imagine anything. You can take a an egg and make it a soccer ball. But, but what I'm trying to do, I guess, is to go deeper at what makes music sound good before even tonality was developed. There is a certain truth that the overtone series work and they, they gave us the major triad, so to speak, and we did something with it for a while. And perhaps now it is time to close that chapter or move on with, from that chapter and look at, at the source again and try to see if we can uh, move in a different direction. From a, sort of a practical matter about, mm -hmm. about this piece then, um, there's also a timbral um, implication mm -hmm. to, to this. And I'm wondering what your thoughts are about instrumentation. As, yes, um, as you know, and as you know, the, those listening to us should know that Nimbus is a flexibly mm -hmm. um, made-up ensemble that we can uh, engage whatever uh, instruments fulfill yes, our needs yes. at a particular time. And so this commission is is sort of open. Mm -hmm. um, in the sense of it's uh, the exact instruments that you yes. might use. When you have 60, 70, 80 individuals with different instruments and backgrounds and personalities and of course a conductor, there you can never tell what will happen. Very much the kind of unknown that uh, you would see in, um, let's say, in meeting a new person, meeting a, a woman, meeting a, perhaps a composition teacher, any, a neighbor, anybody new that, um, you know, 
can change your life and, and, and you want your life to be changed and that's why I'm attracted to the orchestra because I feel it will help me grow, it will challenge me and uh, help me fail or lead, lead me to failure at some point. But we don't entirely yeah. help you so much in that yes. because, yeah. because we're, we don't have a specific instrumentation. Yes. We have but, a sort of range. But I, I have you in my mind on stage conducting and, and, and I have the music that I heard in my mind and that is a more or less accurate you know, snapshot of what Nimbus is. Of course our discussions and, and so on. So I think that I would like to do something new that perhaps you have not had a chance to perform. I'd, I, I, I'd like to write an, a new type of a piece that uh, would be, um, let's say, refreshing for for your performers and, and our audiences. You talk about the um, sort of the social culture and is there, uh, and you began alluding to the um, works that you grew up mm -hmm. studying and being informed by. Tradition is meant to empower us and not to keep us tied down. And very often in Europe, tradition keeps people tied down. And this is something that I had to liberate myself from. I have a craft, so to speak. I know what I'm doing. But it doesn't mean that I have to keep doing the same thing. And looking at my colleagues and, and my former classmates and so on, I, I see that many of them are basically swimming in the same swimming pool. And it's a great swimming pool, artistic, you know, musical. But um, they, there is this pressure of continuing on a path. And this doesn't exist here. In America, yes. you think? Yeah. So what what is what is your next step technically, mechanically? Is yes. It, is it yes. to do, do you t t tell us how you write? Yes. Yes. You know a little bit. Well, in this case, the process is different all the time. But in this case, I'm thinking of as I as I mentioned to you of merging and separating layers, and I mean rhythmic layers, pitch layers. Um, layers of instruments, um, so so this kind of a transformation of, um, let's say this 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 type of a, an unfolding will have various aspects changing at all times. I would uh, have to think very carefully about um, how I want these uh, these overtone series to merge, and this would be the first thing to do.